Um, well, a little rainy day. I think it'll be good for the players to come out here and continue to work on their fundamentals. Um, now that the grass is slick, obviously you'll probably see some people on the ground and there'll be great teaching moments. I know, um, you know, what all of you guys want to know. One thing I did learn from Bill is I just, I don't talk about players on other teams. So just let me go ahead and say that now. But I remember as a player, you know, I appreciated that. I appreciated that the only opinions that mattered were inside the walls. And so I'm still trying to apply that now uh, going forward. Can you confirm at all that there's, you know, talks ongoing? Um, look, I'll be honest with you. That's more of an Elliott question. Um, right now I'm just focused on the guys out here, like the New England Patriots. Sorry, do, do you guys, how do you feel about the, the wide receiver group after a couple of weeks? Do you feel like you still need an upgrade there? Oh, those guys are, those guys are working hard. Um, they're getting better every day. Now, from Elliott and my perspective, we're always trying to get better, no matter what position we're talking about, no matter how those, those guys get here, whether it's through cuts or through trades or whatever, we're always looking to improve our team and win now. Well, there is multiple reports out there that the 49ers have negotiated a trade offer with you guys about Brandon Ayuk and that they've allowed him to speak to you guys. So I don't think it falls into tampering or anything, but so can you confirm that? Uh, I, I can't. You know, like I said earlier, I'm just focused on the guys in the wall, in the room. So. Did you hear what Matthew Judon had to say with us yesterday? Uh, any comments on what he had to say? Look, Judon is doing what he has to do. He's out here every day. He's in pads. Uh, he'll be in pads today as well. He's doing everything in the meeting rooms. and. Look, it was a hiccup, and I feel like we're on the same page and we're moving forward. When, there, when a player's attitude is, I'm just doing what I need to do so I don't get fined, is that good for the team right now? Look, I mean, every day it's its own day. Like, sometimes I come to work and I don't feel like talking at all either, <laughs> both as a player and also as a coach. So it's day-to-day. -day. What I will say about Judon, he always brings great energy to the practice field, he brings great energy in the locker room, and, and that is the expectation that he set early on, and I, I don't see it any different now. With Judon, is it your understanding the team's approach with his negotiations? Is it all affected by other negotiations you might be having through your conversations with other ones? No, all of those conversations are independent of each other. So I guess to answer your question, hopefully, hopefully that helps. So you're not waiting on another move before you do anything with Judon? Everything is its own independent move, and that's how we look at it. Gerard, what is the plan for Drake in uh, Thursday's opener? Uh, Drake will play. Drake will play, and you know when he gets in the game, we'll, we'll talk about that, but he will play in the game. Look, everyone who is healthy enough to play in the game will play in the game. That's more than you've ever gotten before. That's very true, and I appreciate it. Uh, how much? Not sure. Now you're going too far. No. Do, you, do you envision all four quarterbacks playing? Uh, so as of today, like that's the plan, to have all of those guys out there playing. And once again, it goes back to competing. So yesterday, you know, you guys saw the live tackling period and things like that, that I think it's very important, and you don't want the first time these guys have to get hit or hit someone else to be in the preseason game. So we got to see what these guys can do with live action. Gerard, have you talked Gerard, to has a, a contract offer been made to Matthew Judon? Um, I, I, I'm not going to discuss his uh, contract situation. It seems like Elliot, you know, has been, I'd say, aggressive trying to improve this team throughout the offseason. Some things, you know, haven't worked, but it seems like he's doing everything. And one, how much do you like his approach? And two, how much are you guys on the same page with what, you know, you're trying to build? Yeah, I, I love Elliot's approach to getting better. Once again, like, on the outside, we don't have a chance, but we're always trying to get the team better and Elliot and his staff grow. Those guys have been doing a good job identifying pieces uh, that'll help us win now. We've been on the same page for a long time, even before I got this role and before he got his role, uh, we've had a good relationship since, since then and our philosophy is to marry. marry how important is it, do you think? Go ahead, Mark. Go ahead. Oh, so, oh, you go. Picking up on that. It's like being at the stop sign. <laughs> <laughs> Who's gonna go first? All right, here we go. You use the word collaborative a lot in the draft process. Yeah. Does that apply as well to, to roster cutdowns when you guys reach the final 53, the players you want in this 100 percent. And I would also say the assistant coaches and Elliot and the rest of his staff also have a say. Uh, ultimately, Elliot and I have to make a final call, but we, we try to stay collaborative in that approach. Knowing you guys are always trying to get better, as you've said, is there additional urgency to try to improve the roster because you have a young quarterback? I know we're not sure when he's actually going to play. <laughs> but is there urgency on the team's end to make sure you're giving him the best environment possible? Yeah, there's always a sense of urgency to get good players. And, you know, everyone talks about young quarterbacks and surrounding them with good players. Look, we got we have a, an older quarterback, and we want to surround him with good players as well. And we're going to put the best product or the best team out there that we can. Yes, you saw Keon White, and I want to say it was Jeremiah Farms taking snaps at fullback. Is that a plan for the season going in, or is that just kind of a trial? Yeah, it, it's kind of a experiment at this point in time. Remember, Keon did play, you know, tight end in college as well. Well, so uh, it's an experiment. experiment.
I just want to go back to what Mike was saying before. So you gave us a lot as far as you know who's going to potentially play here, a quarterback, and when. Did the players know that as well? Have you informed them sort of what they're going to be doing on Thursday night? Uh, not at this time. So they'll read it probably in one of your articles or something like that. <laughs> but but the expect once again though the expectation is that everyone's always going to play. Like we don't want to just sit people out and you know, kind of lose an opportunity to go out there with live bullets fly. Probably not a good analogy, but that's how I think about it. So you want Jacoby to start on Thursday night? That's the plan. And once again, look, I'm telling you guys this today. I mean, it could change as the week continues to progress, but that is the plan. Jerome, what were your theories on the live tackling portion that we saw at the end of the practice? Yeah, that we need it. I mean, it goes into fundamentals. Like, we can do all the scalloping and fitting and thudding up that you want to. It's a lot different trying to get a man to the ground. So that was, uh, as far as our evaluation and competing, we wanted to see who could actually do that. You, you know, sometimes you have those guys in shorts that kind of look great, and then once it's time to put the shoulder pads on and tackle, they just kind of disappear. We're trying to kind of weed that out. As far as roster competitions go, not just a quarterback but all positions, how do you personally weigh practice versus preseason action? Yeah, there's nothing more important that we do than practice. And it's about the day after day after day trending in the right direction. So, look, the preseason game, whether to play a series, a quarter, a half, like those are important as well. But remember, that's just straight – like, it's not really scheme. Like, when we're out here on the football field, in pra- oh, sorry, the practice field, it's a little bit more scheme, a little bit more thinking. So, uh, I think practice is the most important sure, thing at this play, time. A player you do have on your roster, Kendrick Bourne, was uh, prominently featured in some of these reports. When players are involved in trade talks or rumors, have you spoken to him, or do you feel compelled to speak to him about it? Yeah, you know, honestly, I did talk to him this morning, and it was a good conversation. And once again, I feel like, the story is so much further along than anything else. I just wanted to make sure we cleared the air. And I do believe in being transparent uh, with the players and, and really just setting those guys at ease. Gerard, you know the outside prognosticators of what they say or whatever. As far as you guys are concerned, players all the way through, you know, whether you acquire better players or what have you, how good do you think this team can be right from the get-go, especially if you acquire more talent? I, I mean, look, I don't have a crystal ball. We'll wait and see. But what I will say is, we'll be better as the season goes on. I don't know if the first game we go out there and get beat or beat whoever we're playing. I think teams are still trying to figure out their identity because now we only have three preseason games as well. So, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens. In years past, you guys would have the season ticket holder practice in the stadium before the first preseason game. And Bill would always use that, he said, as kind of a practice run for not only the players, but the coaching staff. You guys won't get in there for the season ticket holder practice before Thursday, but have you had ample time in the stadium to go through that? And how do you feel yeah. about just the logistics of your staff? And that's a great team? question. Uh, we have gone through that, and tomorrow we'll go through it as well. We'll get the coaches up in the box, and we'll just have a mock game, substitutions, all those things, so we're clean. It's a real, you know, it's a test for us, but also, you know, it's something that we can probably improve, and we'll see it, what, how it uh, plays out tomorrow. Sir. Sherrod, what about for you personally? You've been the head coach here for six months now. Thursday night, get to see your team. Uh, in the full uniform, you get yeah. to put on the headset. What, what's it like for you? I, I'm excited. I'm excited to to be on the sideline. And honestly, I'm excited for the players to go out there and perform well. So that's the main thing. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thank you.